It in, pack it out, so whatever you bring in with you, make sure you take it back. Um, so for our trip for Yosemite, we had a poop kit, and inside the poop kit we had a, a shovel, uh, two rolls of toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and you were given each um, a paper bag, and inside that paper bag a plastic bag. So to dispose of your waste to poop, you had to have a buddy to go with you, and you would take the poop kit and you dig a six inch hole with the shovel and you would dig you would dig a six inch hole to make sure no animals would dig up your your food they smelled it but you would dig up the six inch hole then you'd pop a squat and handle your business and you have the option of either using toilet paper or you can use natural resources you can use a rock stick leaves and i've heard snow is the best i don't know i've never tried it i did try rock it was all right like the smooth surface <laughs> and i tried leaves but I ended up using toilet paper. But once you're done with that, like if you use natural resources, then you put them in the hole with the poop. But if you use toilet paper, then you pack it back in the bag and you tie your bag and you put it in the paper bag and you take it out. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and one mistake I made that you guys shouldn't do was, so we had this thing called a one star and a five star. A one star is if you choose an area where it's uncomfortable and it's, I don't know, it's just, there's a lot of trees or something and you don't feel comfortable. And the five star area is like a nice open space where you have a nice view. And if you make eye contact with the animal, see what we did is we got a group of buddies to go together and we accidentally chose our spots 
next to a trail. So as we were handling our business, there was a group of hikers coming down the trail. <laughs> but it was a good experience, so we call it a five star. And that's the third principle. For the fourth principle, it's leave what you find. And by leave what you find, we mean that make sure that you guys don't harm any trees or any of the wildlife that's there. Um, for example, a way to connect this here to the LA River, there's a species called Orendo, which is a non-native species. And what we try to do is prevent for anyone to bring non-native species to a new area because what it does is it begins to take over the whole land and then the native species um, are, they're showing up less and less and the less they're showing up, it can harm the, the habitat for certain animals and that's going to cause like an imbalance for the ecosystem and we don't want that and we also have to make sure that even something as small as a rock we're not supposed to take with us because imagine all of us here we're like okay guys let's all take a rock that's gonna harm like sometimes there's snakes that live under rocks and that's gonna destroy like i said their habitat and we don't want to do that we want to go and enjoy nature and we want to make sure we find it better than we leave it better than the way we found it so the fifth principle is how to minim minimize the campfire. So make sure to always carry a lightweight stove so you don't have a lot of weight on your shoulders. Also make sure to carry a candle lantern. So you may carry a, a, a flashlight with you, but in case the flashlight dies or something, you always have the candle lantern. And make sure to use the, 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 one, the campfires that are established. So for example, at Yosemite, my peers and I did, an, I did a project where we had to go and find campfires that were made by like humans and they weren't like established there. So what we had to do is we had to get the rocks and just like throw, go far away and throw them and then get rid of all the ashes. So, and then like to, so that it could like just be clear and so nobody can make like see that it was there. And finally, also, um, before you leave the campfire, make sure that it's put out completely. So that means put water on top of the, of, the, of, the, of the ashes and then make sure that it's cool and it's not hot. If it's hot, that means that you still need to do the process again, put water on top of it. But if it's cool, then that means that you're done. The sixth principle of LNT is to respect wildlife. I don't know, a lot of people get really curious when they see little animals because it's just something new and interesting to them. But you make sure, like, if you see them, if you happen to stumble upon them, like, don't go looking for them. Let them find you, in a, in a way, and don't follow them because then they'll feel threatened and want to attack you. And don't avoid them when they're mating or nesting or with their young because that's when they're most threatened by you. And if they feel threatened, they're going to attack to make sure they're the ones on top. And you have to respect the area they're living in because after all, we are in their home, they're not in ours. And make sure, because there's this thing in national parks where if um, animals get habituated to you, like they're accustomed to humans, then the officials have to put them down because it's human life on top of animal life. So if they're comfortable around humans, then they're more threatening to our life and our lives are held higher than theirs. And make sure to store your food safe and secure. Like in Yosemite, we had um, bear cans that were bear proof so they couldn't get into it and all our food went in there and anything, anything scented that can attract them. And for example, right here in the urban areas, there tends to be a lot of coyotes. So pets, make sure they're safe inside and not in any reach of any animals because your pets should be kept safe. The last step to L and T is step number seven, which is be considerate to other visitors. Uh, one can be uh, be considerate of where you're visiting. Again, if you follow all of these steps correctly, what's going to happen is that once you decide the day you are going to pack out and take everything with you, what you want is that the area you are in, when you pack up, you want to make sure that it looks like it has never been used, look like people were never here. Because again, when you guys go hiking, do you guys want to see an area well used? Does that look appealing to you? No? So what's gonna happen is that the area you're on, whether it was grass, well, again, dead grass, or if it's a leafy area, you're gonna wanna kick it around, make sure that it looks like the wind blew it around, make it look like area, like leaves fell on top of it, make it look natural, and make it look like you weren't there. And also, uh, be considerate to the people that are coming by. 
So with, by that, I mean when you are camping, you are gonna wanna stick away from trails because when people are coming by, they don't wanna see other people. When they come hiking in the mountains, you guys wanna get away from people, right? You guys don't wanna be passing people, you guys wanna be seeing people camped out, and you guys wanna wanna camp behind trees instead. And also, um, back in Yosemite, we wanted to give each other some space, so we set up camps probably 30 feet, 100 feet uh, away from each other. So that way we all had enough space to move around. We didn't bother anybody when they were sleeping at night. And the same could, could probably be said around here. Remember, our sections are right here. Other people's sections are over there. So remember guys, uh, it's different locations, but still the same. So if you're gonna be in your area, stay around your area, walk around your area. And if you're gonna be walking around through this area, stay away, go around. Just like you want your area to be respected and you want to stay calm and away, same way you would do for the people. one is how to walk up trail and down trail. Uh, we want to be a volunteer for that one. Okay, you. Okay. And sample, you you keep walking forward to me. And I walk by and I'll have to be in the side and I bump into her. And we'll fall, probably die or <laughs> get her pretty bad or have an argument. You don't want to do that. You still want to keep walking all fine. And you see her walking, you go on the left side, then you're all safe. And happy ending. <laughs> a safe way to walk up to and down to. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, on three. One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers.